It's locked. Howdy, Clue Crew. Ready for another episode of Nancy Drew? Get your clue notepad ready. This mystery is getting real spooky. Nancy Drew is almost here. Hang tight a few more moments, and we're going to jump right into the mystery. Howdy, folks! Welcome to Travi J's Space here on YouTube. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Is there a frog in my throat today? <laughs> Kermit, get up out of that throat! <laughs> you don't belong down there. And welcome, <laughs> welcome back to another oh, jam-packed, fun-filled episode of Nancy Drew and the Secret Shadow Ranch. And now we know the secret um, of the phantom horse, Dirk Valentine's phantom horse. We finally got a glimpse of that phantom horse in the last episode, and uh, it was rather spooky, I must say. It really, it really um, gave me the big frightened. It was a cute horse, though, but just very kind of uh, intimidating, you know, and it was uh, kind of glowing and stuff. It definitely was a phantom horse. It looked like a ghost. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe this horse is a regular, normal horse that's been covered in some kind of, uh, you know, glittering powder of some sort. Who knows? There's always some sort of explanation, logical explanation for these things. Or who knows? Maybe it is a phantom horse. Uh, I guess we'll figure that out. Maybe that's the true secret. That and Dirk Valentine's hidden treasure for Francis Humber. We will find it eventually. Now, in the last episode, other than seeing the phantom horse, um, we got into day two here at the ranch, uh, and we found that kindling. Finally, thank heavens, it was right there in front of our faces the whole time. Um, I must say, though, strategically hidden in plain sight, because uh, if you guys can remember, it was just underneath um, that uh, old rusty uh, mining cart in the middle of the, uh, the ranch courtyard. So... <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I had to take a minute, go online to figure that out. Thanks to Universal Hint System, UHS. You guys are the greatest. I love that website so much. I've been using it since 2004 for all Nancy Drew hints. And if you're still stumped at the end, they always give you the answer. So it's really helpful and a really, really, really uh, important resource if you're stumped. That and my clue crew. I love you guys. You guys are the greatest. You guys also are right there helping me every step of the way. And I couldn't do it without you. I couldn't. I really couldn't. Um, now, Universal Lit System 2 is also really good for other mystery games. Um, of course, for now, we are dead set focused on getting through all of the Nancy Drew mysteries, all 34 of them, um, here at Travis J Space. Um, <clears throat> however, I do in the future really would like to explore... Uh, other mystery games that I grew up playing as well. Some of them you might recognize. Um, the, uh, um, <laughs> oh, hello, uh, Sherlock Holmes mysteries, uh, the PC games. There are so many of those and they're a little more intense. You know, there's a lot more details and hidden things and you really got to use your head a little more. So those episodes might be a little longer. The series might end up being double the amount of episodes uh, of a Nancy Drew series, because typically we go through about nine episodes before we um, to finish to finish a mystery, which is pretty good. About nine hours worth of gameplay, <clears throat> maybe ten ten hours, let's say, just to be safe <laughs> on the safe side. Um, but with Sherlock Holmes, I feel like it might take us a little longer. It might be more like a 16, 17 episode series um, 
depending. We'll see. We'll see how, how we are by then. I think by the time we get through all these Nancy Drews, we might be pretty uh, sharp in our, in our uh, amateur detective skills. Uh, now, that's not the only other, that's not the only uh, Mr. Computer series I do want to cover with you guys. I do also, I'm really anticipating um, eventually playing the Agatha Christie series with you guys as well uh, here on the channel. Um, there's a three games, I believe, and then there were none. Uh, Murder on the Orient Express and then Evil Under the Sun. <clears throat> Gosh, my tea a little early. Wow, still hot. <laughs> um, so we will definitely get through those as well. I am adamant on it. However, I know that um, one of our fellow Clue Crew members, uh, Red Wolf, did mention me, if I'm correct, uh, that for some reason with the Agatha Christie series, when people do uh, walkthroughs or Let's Plays, um, tutorials, etc. For, for that series, they end up getting flagged for copyright and have been uh, told to take down their content. So very mysterious. I mean, how ironic, right? But yeah, still <laughs> very mysterious, very odd. I don't know why that is. I, I really hope though, knock on wood, that um, that's something we, we will not face. We won't have those issues probably. If so, I will probably have to email <laughs> uh, the adventure company and the other creators of that series and say, hey, what gives, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing you guys a favor. So anyways, enough of all that. We got so much work to do. In fact, the first and foremost thing we have to do that I still have not figured out. We didn't really have much time to actually figure it out. Um, <clears throat> was baking the Shadow Ranch cake for Tex's birthday. Uh, that's something we have to do for Shorty. Another one of his chores, of course. We've already picked the vegetables, grabbed the eggs. So now we just have to bake this cake. And I think once we bake the cake, we should probably be able to get permission from Tex to grab Bob here and uh, and get on out back out there uh, in the desert. And uh, I'd like to visit Mariazzi. Uh, I feel like now that it's day two, there might be some more um, inquiries we could make with her. Particularly, maybe getting to the bottom of why she wants... <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> why she wants to buy that piece of land so bad off the ranch. So we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do and so little time. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to set the timer and we're set. So without further ado, you got your tea? Ooh, yes. And that looks really hot. I wouldn't suggest sipping on that right away because you'll probably burn your tongue off like I almost did just now. I mean, that's not that hot, but I see steam coming out of your mug, so you watch it. And I got a blanket, too. Something cozy, comfortable to cling on to and uh, just get nice and cozy and wrapped up wherever you are, in bed or on the couch or who knows. Maybe you're at the park right now and you just brought a little throw blanket and the kids are playing on the park and mama needs to check in with her Nancy Drew clue crew. <laughs> um... And you're comfortable, right? You're cozy. That is all that matters. As long as you are cozy, comfortable, you got your amateur detective cap on, and you're ready to find more clues and get to the bottom of this mystery. <laughs> all right, perfect. Now, I, uh, actually, as well, not only do I have my tea today, but I have this fine look, and everyone take a good look here. Mm, Mouth watering. Delicious little cupcake right here. This was made by my wonderful stepmother, Tam. Shout out, Tam. Thank you so much for these cupcakes. They are so good, so good. And I could not help myself but to bring one of these to the desk today for our, um, for our episode, for our Let's Play. Because I, I am craving these. I had two of these. Actually, I had, <laughs> I had much more than two of them last night. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I can't stop thinking about it. The icing actually is homemade. Um, Tam made the, the icing from from scratch and threw in a, a Hershey's um, powder mix. And oh my gosh, it is so good. Mm. Oh, even better refrigerated. Holy smokes. Mm. So light and fluffy. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'll see you in a hot minute. <clears throat> 
<laughs> All right, folks. Let's jump right in. Timer is set. We're good to go. So, uh, there are three tablespoons in it. Oh, oh, look at this. So Nancy, I guess, already got ahead of us here. I wrote down all of the measurements and stuff <clears throat> here. Let's see if actually I got it right. According to the chart I saw in the kitchen, there are three tablespoons, or sorry, uh, three teaspoons in a tablespoon. Ah, okay. I got that right. <laughs> and two cups and a pint. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. So you see, I didn't have to go. I didn't have to go on my phone online to figure that out. I could have just checked Nancy's journal. Nancy's taking notes too. And you're taking notes too, right? It's easy to forget things. Trust me. I forget things all the time. All right. So, um, so let's jump into that then. Let's try to bake this birthday cake. Oh, and we do have to fix the chicken coop. Yes, for Dave. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, I might not. The wire might not be here till after dark. So we might not have to worry about that. Uh, did we figure out? Check. Yeah, we figured out what the flower was on the stationery. Or on Francis' favorite stationery, the flower. That was the uh, marazepan, I believe. Uh, find out what kind of flower Francis used to decorate the cake. Oh, that Can't was... Can't check that off till it's done. Oh. Oh, maybe that was the marazepan. Uh, but the flower on... Well, that's interesting then. Are there two different flowers? I wonder. Um, I know one of them was the marazepan. We saw that in the um, the recipe for the ingredients. Hmm. Okay, I guess there are two different ones then. See what the name of the crackers were that Francis and Dirk used to eat in Cappies. Ah, yes. Oh, that's when we're going to visit... Uh, Thing I remember now. Um, when we're able to hop on Bob and get on out of the ranch, we have to visit that old uh, ghost town. I forget what it's called, but it should have, we should be able to find um, some clues as to what crackers they used to eat together. And Dirk mentioned that Francis had a favorite beaded purse. Figure out if it had a flower on it. I'm pretty sure, oh no, we got to call Bess and George because they're reading that book. Remember the 19th century novel on 19th century fashion? So that was really meant to be and really handy. Uh, I'm finished with that. I don't remember doing that, but okay. I'll take your word for it, Nancy. <laughs> Learn more about the shawl. Can't check that off yet. Yeah, okay. So that's just more, that's a call we're going to have to make for Bess and George. All right. All right, it's a beautiful day here in Arizona, Shadow Ranch. Now, let me see here if there's anything to do with cooking. Nope, there's nothing to search up. So, I wonder if there's any more clues as to, um... Okay, so we have all the ingredients and that's great. But we don't know what temperature. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, apparently not for anything. Because I was going to ask you how to cook. Or what to bake this cake at. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. All right. Well, let's try it again then. <laughs> Listen to her clutter ground. <laughs> Grabbing everything. Okay, one cup of butter. We'll, we'll just... See, but now I wonder though if we even have it in the right... Pan. You know what I mean? Hmm. There's a lot of aspects to this. Maybe we should call someone first. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say we call Bess and George because there's a few things we need from them. Not just how to bake. <laughs> Actually, I should probably ask Tam. <laughs> She's the baker in this family, so I wonder she. I should call her here on the cell phone <laughs> and say, what temperature do you think I should... <laughs> <laughs> put the oven at but see that's the thing it doesn't give us uh, actual temperatures it just is high uh, low medium high and then there was another thing as well <laughs> I can't remember all right let's give them a call Bess and George let's see what they gotta say hello it's me so what's going on there <laughs> it's me <laughs> 
That sounded like she had something to say. That's it for now. Have fun. She doesn't. Wish you were here. Kidding. You know, you guys, I could really use your help. Oh, oh. Bet Raleigh. She would know. She would know. I'm sure she's baked it before. Hello? Hi, Aunt Bet. I forgot to ask you before how Uncle Ed was doing. Well, he definitely has some kind of infection. I'm Ooh. fine. So they've got him on <laughs> antibiotics. We'll be here at least two more days. My, oh my, that's a long time to be sitting there in the hospital in this hot weather. I noticed a letter in your roll-top desk from someone named Jane Nash. Oh, yes. She worked for us back in Phoenix and we still own the clothing store. Unfortunately, she turned out to be totally unreliable and we had to let her go. Her letter sounded Ooh. almost threatening. Oh, she's harmless. Part of her problem <laughs> was that she was all talk and no show. It was Ed's idea to hire her. She was a good salesperson. <gasps> she was just not a very good person. Person. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, what the heck is going on here? What's this all about? Well, that was really odd, wasn't it? <laughs> this computer is haunted, I think. Secret of Shadow Ranch, the Phantom Horse. How about the Phantom Desktop? <laughs> this is a phantom. There's a phantom in my desktop. <sighs> Creepy. Uh, how old was she? That does seem really relevant. Maybe we should get to the bottom of this Tex connection, though. Has Tex ever said anything to you about her? About Jane? No, why would he? Uh, I just wondered, that's all. Oh. She had an ex-husband or two, as I recall. Oh. Very unstable emotionally. Then how can you be so sure she won't do something to get back at you? For the same reason we fired her, dear. She's too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bet you are. Are you are, aware that there's a secret a door behind the bookcase in the den? <laughs> no. Oh my, you really are quite the detective. Ooh. How did you discover that? Well, actually, it's a long story. What do you know about Dirk Valentine? Never heard of him. Do you know a Dirk Valentine? Never heard of him. Isn't he that outlaw guy Shorty was carrying on about the night I got bit? Yes, yes. Okay, Ed, you have good ears and a good memory. I just wondered if you'd ever come across supposed to have wooden treasure let's just uh, I yeah. just wondered if you'd ever come treasure. across anything that belonged to him never and I'd remember a name like that Dirk Valentine sounds like a character from a Charlena Purcell novel actually as it, as turns, it turns out <laughs> I talked to Charlena Purcell recently yeah. really about what about Shadow Ranch actually and about Dirk Valentine she's done quite a bit of research on him he was in love with Francis Humber you know Oh my gosh. You mean Charlena Purcell is going to write a book that takes place on our ranch? <laughs> Still my palpitating heart. Ed, you tell her she's welcome to visit Shadow Ranch and do all the research she wants anytime she wants. Don't I get some say in this? No. <laughs> I'll be in touch. All right, dear. Bye now. Okay. Well, let's let's give a call to her then. Let's go through our list again. And we also need to call that geology number we never called Charlena them. Purcell's office hi this is Nancy Drew say, say no more. more hello Nancy what's the latest I oh, came yes. across something that looks like a very old token and has the words dry creek merchants on it sounds like you have a piece of dry creek script it was sometimes used in mining towns like dry oh. creek in place of currency does it have a denomination on it it says one and a half cents probably used <laughs> for games what kind, of what games? kind of games? Believe it or not, they had some very primitive arcade-type games back in the 1880s. Ooh. Some were quite entertaining, to get especially my hands for a on cent that. and a half. Hmm. Talk hmm. to you soon. You do that. Well, not much going on there. All right. Uh, Frank and Joe. Maybe they know something about baking. I'm surprised Bess and George didn't know nothing about nothing. Hardy residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, oh. what's going on? Catch Nothing, you later. Apparently. See you, partner. Ride him, cowgirl. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> All right, let's let's finally call. Oh, my nose is so itchy today. Uh, let's finally call this geo survey stuff. Let's see what Mr. Shorty was hiding in his desk. SWGS. This is Gaza. Hi, Ooh, my name Gaza. is Nancy Drew. Like Not name. too long ago, you provided this person I know with a map that showed the locations of mineral deposits in central Arizona. That's what I'm here for. 
Uh, is it unusual? Is it unusual for an ordinary citizen to request mm. a map like that? Depends on which map it was. The number on it was PUB893A. Oh, Publication good. 893 Alpha. Let me get it on my screen here. Yeah, that's a map somebody'd use if they wanted to go prospecting in their spare time. What's this person's name? Uh, Shorty Thurman? Shorty Thurman. Yep, there he is. According to my notes, he just started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. Oh. You keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice and documented. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. I mean, it's not too far off from what he said. Didn't he say that uh, he was looking for, hoping to look for gold, his get-rich-quick scheme? Hmm. How likely do you think it is that Shorty will find any gold around that's, Shadow Mountain? That's a good question. Oh, he might find a nugget or two, but from the looks of the maps I sent him, any ore out there would be of such low quality that attempting to extract gold from it would be pointless. That's interesting. What is? Apparently this shorty person asked me if I knew anything about Dirk Valentine's treasure. <gasps> really? Do you remember what he said? <laughs> I recall he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried some kind of treasure near Shadow Mountain. He thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. And what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't know anything about it. Well, thank you, Geza. No problem. What did you say your name was again? Nancy... Drew. Nancy Drew. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any maps. <laughs> she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Drew. Bye. What a sweetheart she is. I love Nancy. Oh, what a good girl. Okay, um... <sighs> We don't need to call the sheriff. Let's talk to Dave. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get Not back really. to work. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. All right, let's talk to Tex. Then let's go around. Make the rounds here. How'd you do? Need something. He's going to say nope. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Feed the chickens <laughs> and the horses in the corral first. Oh. Fatal if you mess up, so don't. Feed the chickens and the horses and... Fine. Talk to you later. No hurry. <sighs> so we gotta bake a cake and feed the... I knew this would come around. I had a feeling. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, okay. Uh, Bob. Bob needs... Oh, dear. Okay, we're gonna be writing a lot of stuff down. <laughs> you got your pen and your notes? Bob needs two oats, one corn, and one half mixed pellets. And then what other? Oh, Clyde. Clyde needs ration C. Clyde is in need of three oats, uh, one and a half mixed pellets and oh that's it okay light eater he is <laughs> he's a little he eats like a pigeon and lastly ace yeah ace is the last horse right oh i feel so bad i almost forgot his name we don't visit him that often do we okay one oats half a corn half a corn and three mixed pellets okay so maybe we can uh <laughs> kind of get away from baking that cake for a while <laughs> if we can do this we can get out on the road so let's do that chicken feed oh two scoops of chicken chow <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken chow. That's a funny word. Funny, uh, funny name for it. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm laughing too hard. I, I forgot to write down. Two scoops. Chicken. 
Ciao. Chicken chow. Eat up. For the chickens. That sounds like a, a book title or a movie. For the chickens. For the chickens. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Going around in circles. Okay. All right. I didn't think there was chicken chow up in here. Is that the middle one? Oh, now how am I supposed to know what is what? Oh, hold up. Nuh-uh. Dump this out. How do I dump it out? I don't know what that is. That looks like oats. What? Oh, okay. Okay, that is oats. So, jeez. Two cups of oats. So, two of these. So, two cups of oats. One cup of corn. That doesn't look like corn. That ain't corn. That ain't corn either. That's corn. Oh. We need one more of that. One, one more cup of corn. Aw, oh, well the horses are getting so nicely fed. Okay, that's all I need. I'm the ca can I take it? Keep the I don't think that's enough. What? Oh, one half pellet mix. Which I think is this one, because it's just a bunch of... Yeah. Oh, damn. How much was that? Uh-oh, I gotta start over now. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> what a waste of mix. Okay. So... Two oh. One. Two. All right. And one cup of corn, which is two of those. Two cups of corn. I hope that isn't the chicken chow. <laughs> the hell's chicken chow? <laughs> oh dear. Oh wait, let's take a look. Okay, so it's three. Okay, so one half mixed pellets. Oh, that's that's the other stuff. One half, so one and a half. So it was at three, four, five and a half. Oh, well that's two and a oh dear. I don't understand. So maybe that is enough. No dang clue. <laughs> let's give it a shot. Let's let's check it out. There you go. Eat up, Poochie. Oh, num 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 num. Does he like it? Oh, he's still eating. Look at him go! Hoo -hoo! He is a hungry boy. All right, very good. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Didn't Tex oh. tell you? That feeding the horse is wrong could be fatal? Yes, he did. Tex said that poor Yikes. horse you fed is colicking. I know. I was just careless. I commend your uh. honesty, dear. But I'm afraid we can't afford to have careless people on the ranch. <laughs> and since Tex would be quite happy to strangle you right now, what we're going to say next is actually for your own good. Yeah. Goodbye, Bye, Nancy. <laughs> they say it so, uh... So straight up. Oh, it really gave me a second chance. Bob, I'm not going to kill you this time. Or leave you call again. Huh. We're talking about feeding the right dosages and the right mixture to the horses. And here I am eating a chocolate cupcake. <laughs> okay. So, measure by pound into bucket. Measure by pound into bucket. Oh! Oops, I got crumbs everywhere. So, two pounds of oats, one pound of corn. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Okay. 
Let's empty that bucket. And we'll start over. Okay, so that makes a little more sense. Okay, so two pounds of oats. That's one pound of oat. I should have read that. <laughs> that's a lot more helpful. Okay, so now that's two pounds of oats. One pound of corn. It doesn't really help that they've got all different kinds of, of utensils to scoop this stuff. Okay, so that's a pound of corn. Now, a pound and a half of mixed pellets. I don't think that's it. What's in here? Those kind of look like pellets, don't they? Okay, let's let's give that a go. Oh, pound and a half. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so I think that's it. So this is the mixed pellets then. What the heck is this stuff? Maybe that's the chicken chow. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Bob. You beautiful horse, you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's hope I don't make you colic. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. And he is mowing down. Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> okay, great. Yay! <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's carry right along then. Uh, now that we know how it works, three oats, three pounds of oats. So three of these this is for Clyde. Two and three. All right, three pounds of oats and one and a half mixed pellets, which will be about the same one scoop. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is easier than I thought. I made it. Made it. It just seems so much more difficult, you know, at first glance. All right, Clyde. Are you excited to eat? Oh, num num num. We got num nums for you. Oh, num 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 num. Good boy. Oh yeah. Okay, we're getting the hang of this. This is this is becoming a. Uh, a lot easier. All right, Ace needs one pound of oats. Perfect. And half a cup of corn. Or ha half a pound of corn. Perfect. And three mixed pellets. Okay, so that's just two of these. Very good. One more. Come on, man. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, Ace. Ah, no. Your name starts with an A, but you're the last one to get fed. <laughs> All right, and now for the chicken chow. Oopsie. Cattle supplement. Oh, so that stuff is cattle supplement. So then I get, I bet, uh, la 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 la. I could speak. I think I th I'm almost certain then that this is the chicken chow. Yeah, two scoops of chicken chow. Okay, so this one doesn't go by the pound. Oh, okay, that makes sense because it goes up to about five pounds. Okay, let's go feed the chickens. Chick, chick, chicken. Oh, good. And Dave has conveniently walked away. Perfect. Easy feed. <laughs> Easy feed. Come on, chickens. <laughs> come and get it. Okay, <laughs> chickens, come and get it. <laughs> Me and Nancy are in the same wavelength. Come and get it, chickens. Cluck, cluck. They're probably. Oh, she definitely went to get her food. These ladies aren't so uh, aren't so eager. They're trying to hatch some eggs. Okay, so we have done it. Feed the chickens and the That's horses. done. Fix the chicken coop. Mm, not yet. And bake the cake. Mm, not yet. <laughs> All right, Tex. Need something? May I go riding now? May I go riding now? Oh, Bob's all yours. Yay! I set up some barrels and a sawhorse so you can do some barrel racing and practice roping. 
Whenever you're out there, I'll watch you and time you. If you get good oh. enough, like, say, you get your time below 10 seconds, and if you can lasso the sawhorse, like, say, four times out of five, I'll give you your very own lariat. You can practice as much as you want, whenever you want. Ooh. Just don't go walking off with my rope, because I'll be watching. Oh, Talk to you later. Okay. If you last that long. Okay, so we need to do that, because we need that rope to get up on that thing to finish the puzzle the petroglyph puzzle that dirk left for francis so let's let's get some lasso let's get lassoing or lassoing and he'll probably let us keep the rope if we do all right bob you're nice and fed let's get you out here let's practice oh wait a minute <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this thing. Woo! Do over. Oh, shoot. Get him! Missed. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Uh. How? How do I. How do I know when to go? Gotcha! Oh, yay! Oh, you have to wait till the circle is there. There we go, like that. Oh, yes. okay. You got okay. two out of five. Yay! Let's try again. Let's try again. Okay. Good job. Miss. Ah. Okay. Gotta wait for it to even out. Even out. Even out. Go. Yes. Oh. And even out, even out, even out, go! Gotcha! Alright, even out, even out. This is fun. I am a rider cowboy. Perfect. <laughs> oh, one more. <gasps> oh, shoot. That's three out of five. So far, so good. Getting better at this. Okay, here we go. Tex is a really good teacher. Oh. oh. I really like him, Tex, now. Taking the time to teach us all this. Oh, yeah! Perfect! Really gotta concentrate. Oh, shoot! Oh. Yeah. As I said, how ironic. As I said, we really gotta concentrate. Perfect! This one. This ain't gonna be it. Cause we need that lariat, whatever a lariat is. Yes! That's three out of five. Alright, let's try again. Let's try again. Yeah! Perfect! Woo, this is nerve wracking. Okay. Perfect. Yeah! Yahoo! Giddy up, cowgirl! Giddy up! Perfect! Oh, three out of five! Okay, let's go. But you got four. Yes! Yes! Congratulations! Oh! Oh, now we gotta do this. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh, I gotta click it real quick. Darn. Oh, darn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 11 seconds. Uh, Start shoot. over. Okay, alright. Here we go. Gotta be real quick. Come on, Bob. You got this. You got this, Bob. How'd we do? How'd we do? Yeah, yeah. How'd we do? 11.5. Oh, Start over. seriously? Alright, let's try that again. Okay, Bob, let's go. Oh, yeah, real quick. Real tight corners here. Yeah! Yeah, oh. yeah! This is fun! 9.5. Oh. How about that? 
You did it. <laughs> All right. Now I can get my own lariat. I did the barrel race in under 10 seconds and roped the sawhorse four out of five times. Do I get a lariat? Yep. Yay! Go. I'm kind of surprised at you. Why? We figured you'd be good for some laughs out there. You weren't. I just gotta say, he also takes very good care of his hands, just like Dave. They must be sharing a really good moisturizer out here on the ranch, because look at how soft those hands are. He he could um they they could use uh, a a nail a nail trimmer. That would be great. You know, he's got a little bit of dirt under his nails. But that's a sign of some good hard work. Tech seems but like a hard work. This little vacation of yours ain't over with yet. May yeah. I go riding again? Yep. Yay! Talk to you later. No hurry. Woohoo! Howdy, folks. Or how do you like that, folks? <laughs> oh, wait. Where's my saddle? Oh, our very own lariat. I guess that's a... I guess that's a lasso. They call it a lariat? Well, I didn't know that before today. Alright. Alrighty, folks. That was fun. That was really fun. You really like, uh, what do you call it? Ooh, pardon me. He really put us up to the challenge, didn't he? Huh? I guess we could do it again if we, <laughs> if we want to. <laughs> no. We got places to be. Places to go. Things to see. Uh, let's go to Cougar Bend first. That looks like Mary Yazzie. Oh. That does look like Mary Ozzie. <gasps> What's she doing at the ranch? Shoot, maybe we should. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, maybe we should stop there first at Mary Ozzie's. Because if she's not at her store, we could sneak in there and figure out why she really wants to buy some property. Maybe that's how we'll figure it out. Okay, sorry, Bob. I know I just told you to go all the way here, all the way there. And I was really looking forward to getting up, up on that, uh... Oh, what's it called anymore? <laughs> I forget. That, uh, rock formation. Yeah, it's got a word. Alright, here we go. Is she in here? Oh, she's back! Darn it! Hi, can I help you with something? I saw you riding. I saw you riding earlier near Shadow Ranch. Mm -hmm. Do you ride around there a lot? You're mistaken. Shadow Ranch is private property. I never ride there. You must have seen somebody else. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. She was wearing the same vest, the same bead of jewelry. Gosh darn, she even had her hair the same way. Pretty, uh, pretty compelling if it wasn't you. Oh, as well as the Palomino. Whoever I saw yeah. was riding a Palomino that looked just like yours. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. So don't go telling people you saw me trespassing, because you didn't. Excuse me. Oh my word. I can't talk right now. Sorry. Sure you can. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Alright. Check! That was, uh very odd okay well we'll come back another time then <coughs> I know the one thing we definitely need to do is get up on that rock formation oh this is just too good mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh mm. I've got mail <laughs> you hear that I don't know if y'all heard that. That's my ringtone. That's the old-fashioned AOL. You've got mail. Um. Okay. All right, here we go. Put our lasso skills to work here. Yeah. Ta-da! Yeah. All right, let's go. Now, hold up. Actually, oh shoot. I was just going to check and see if there's any on the way up. Okay, a little further up. Okay, so I got to do that again. No problem. I'm a lasso master now. <sighs> Ain't nothing but a thing. Yes! 
All right, right by that little rock jutting out. Aha! I can't get my map out now. I'll just remember the petroglyphs I see and check my map later. Okay, okay. Or I will just write them down <laughs> real quick. Like so, uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Fabulous. Fabulous. Ooh, and here's the rest of them. Okay, so. This one goes here. This one goes here. And now there's one, two, three, four, five up here. Holy cannoli. Oh, wow. Who are five? <gasps> Where's Bob? Oh, I can <laughs> you can just see his snout right there, I think. Unless he ran off. Alright, so this one is this one. Oh, look at this. Beneath something, something, something. <gasps> Cappy? Beneath? I bet you it's going to say Cappy's. Cappy's keys. I don't know. Let's just get the rest of them here. Whoa. This is reminiscent to the intro with Mini T. Howdy, folks. Clue crew. <laughs> Where, she, where he's standing up on the rock formation. Oh, that's funny. That is so funny. Uh, okay. That's a cool looking one. Uh, ah, another one up here. Looks like a sun. And then the one just below it. I like that one. That's cool. Like little people, little stick people. What's this last one though? Oh, another arrowhead! Is there any other ones that I didn't see? That I didn't see, 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 that I should see, see, see. Okay, let's see. Beneath Cappy's keys, Pappy's name, please. Beneath Cappy's keys, Pappy's name, please. Okay, well, it just looks like then we're gonna have to make our way to, oh, what is this? We're gonna have to make our way down to uh, that ghost town right away oh what's this I'm positive I saw Mary Yazi on Shadow Ranch property but she denied it when I asked her about it and even got kind of mad something is definitely up with her I agree Nancy I agree like I said she was the only one that wasn't present when the shadow <gasps> and she rides a Palomino a white horse Phantom ghost? I mean, she could have just covered the horse with some kind of um, iridescent, you know, glowing something that doesn't harm the horse. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the trail stop. Uh, I'd like to see if that rattlesnake has disappeared because uh, Abigail in the comments section also uh, said that there was... She also noticed that there was, under that rattlesnake, there was a big door, a latch of some sort. So I want to know what's under And I bet you, under that latch, is uh, the crackers or something. Because remember, there was a letter uh, under the stairs in the old cellar secret entryway that said, meet me by Charlie's grave, and there's something there for you, blah, blah, blah. Sounds like a thunderstorm up there. So <laughs> I think I'll let Bob do the walking. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well then, we're. Oh shoot! Rattlesnake. Is... I wonder if I could lasso the. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, he's not going anytime soon. Okay. Well then, we'll let's go back. Actually, let's see. Is he still there? Darn it! Most rattlesnakes disappear. Remember? In the vegetable garden. This one is definitely protecting something then. Okay. Enough of all this. I know Mary doesn't want to talk to us. So there's no point going there again. We're just going to make our way up to Dry Creek. And I'm going to make my way right to this cupcake. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm. All right. Oh, look at this. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, probably just a bird. Pro 
probably just a bird. Probably just a bird in my butt. I'm kind of nervous now. Is there someone over here? Hello? Hello? Oh, scorpion! Oh, get away from it! Oh, what do I got? What do I... Ah. Okay, let's just, let's just back away. Dang. He's, he's, he's hiding one of those... He's covering one of those arrowheads we need. I don't know what we need the arrowheads for, but... Gosh knows that... Oh, what in the heck is this? Uh, huh? Where does this go? And what does this do? Is this like a... A fancy locking mechanism for a spittoon? <laughs> Me and Tam were just looking at spittoons last night. Oh, I don't like that music. Oh. And there's another symbol. What symbol is... Is this Cappy's? <gasps> oh, creepy. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> scorpion. Dang scorpion. I don't like scorpions. Drag Creek Sheriff's Department. Corner store. Well, we ain't getting in there, unfortunately. Oh, what a creepy old town. We didn't really get a good look at uh, sheriff. Oh, that must be the gallows where they they get hung. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there's another symbol. We don't have this symbol, do we? Very interesting. Oh, yes we do. Oh, yes we do. Oh no, we don't. <laughs> okay. Well. Hello. Hello? Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. Yikes! The walls <laughs> in there look like they could fall down any second. I still want to go in. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll leave it alone. Okay, well this is, this is very, very creepy. I feel like we're on an episode of Ghost Adventures right now. In an old mining town. It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Uh-uh. We are not giving up so quickly. Heck no. What if one of these things... Oh, okay. Worth a shot. Well, that sucks. Unless we can get in through that window. It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Hmm. I don't know who Pappy is. Who is Pappy? And what is in this desk? Nothing? This is so interesting. You know, like... What if no one's been in here for hundreds of years? I mean, I'm sure some sightseers have, but... In an old, dusty, rusty, crusty... Town like this? A ghost town? <gasps> See? These are the gallows! <gasps> oh! We can get in through the window! Oh, but how are we gonna get out? Another arrowhead! There's another symbol. This is so interesting. I really don't understand. Can we, can we, uh, can we go up there? Oh, shoot. <gasps> Who's that? Is someone following us? I swear, I, I keep hearing stuff. We'll find the key eventually. Okay, what's in here? This looks like maybe the town hall. Why are we going around? Oh, there's another symbol. Okay. Looks like we're not going in there anytime soon. All right. Sheriff's office, a post office. Danger, keep out. Okay, people have definitely been here. <laughs> oh, Cappies! Okay. Oh, see, that one has a danger, keep out sign too. But you know what? That ain't ever stopped us. Oh, we gotta call the sheriff again. <gasps> oh, it scared me. Ah, oh, no access. 
Shoot. Okay. We're gonna have to call the sheriff and ask for his permission. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. A graveyard? More symbols. What do these all mean, I wonder? And why can't we visit the graveyard? That's probably where we could figure out who Pappy is. No, I don't want to leave any loose ends here. I mean, unfortunately, we're going to have to because I don't know what the heck this freaking fragging thing is. And that's about to crumble right on down. It's about to take a... Ch <laughs> no pun intended. The outhouse is about to take a... Uh... That's an odd looking hoof print. Yeah, you're right. I thought that was a arrowhead. Gosh, what the hell? So someone has definitely been here. Or was here. Definitely wasn't a bird when we first came here. I am so curious about all this. Okay, let, let's get the heck out of here. First of all, I'd like to go back to Mariazzi's and see what the heck is her problem. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got crumbs all over my notes. Might as well just add some more. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Mary Ozzy. listen. Hi, can I help you with something? Great, I'm glad you've calmed down. Um, yeah, let's ask her now about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Because I think she's the only one we haven't talked to about Do you it. know anything about the treasure Dirk Valentine supposedly buried somewhere around Shadow Ranch? I know it's a lot of hogwash. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I know it's a lot of hogwash. <laughs> Some people would disagree with you. Some people would disagree with you. So if that. I had a dollar for every lost mine or buried treasure story I've heard in the 30 odd years I've lived here, I'd have 10 horses, two cars, and possibly my own helicopter. It's nothing <laughs> but a tall tale. Trust me. I don't know if I do trust you. Especially after saying you weren't at Shadow Ranch, but we definitely saw you and your Palomino. Not only that, but 30 years? Damn, girl, you look good. You look really good. I thought you were approaching 30 years old. There's no way that... Oh, I guess it makes sense if you've been here 30 years. You are born here. But still, she if she's in her 40s or 40 mid-40s, she looks great for her age. Must be all that Arizona sun and fresh weather. And, mm. Fresh, fresh it was air. great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. Aww, I love her though. I really hope it's not her. Oh, excuse me, Peg. Oh, Peg. Um, yeah, I really hope it's not her because she seems like her sweetheart. Alright, back to Shadow Ranch. We got a cake to bake. Ugh. Looks oh, like Mary oh. Yazzie and Tex. <gasps> oh, oh, too late. Good boy. Yeah, good boy, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. All right, I'm gonna take this off your back. Take a load off. Why don't you go ahead and relax? Now we got Tex has some explaining to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <gasps> He's not here. Oh, time to snoop. Oh. oh. He's got nothing to snoop. Well, da gosh darn. Then what the heck is he doing out there talking to Mary Ozzy? Okay, something's not right. I don't think Tex was sus. He just seems kind of... Where are they? Do you see them? They were in front of this thing. The windmill. Nope. Mm, I don't see nothing. All right. What's in the inventory? Uh, breaking news. I saw Mary Ozzie and Tex together near the ranch. They both know a lot about horses, and they both have reasons to want to hurt the Raleigh's. Partners in crime, maybe? 
Interesting. I thought it would be Shorty and Mariazzi. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's Tex and Mariazzi. Tex was the first one to leave the big cookout that night when we saw the horse, the shadow uh, phantom horse. Hmm. Interesting. Things are getting more sussy. Hello, Nancy. Here. Something I can do for you? Oh, here we go. I'm pretty sure I saw Mary Yazi riding on the Raleigh's property. Have you ever seen her riding around here? Can't say as I have, but then most of my duties require me to stay close to home. Tex, he's the one you ought to ask. Mm. Trust me, we want to. We definitely want to. Oh, I just can't get enough. I'm gonna ask Crumb. Mm. Damn. God damn. Alright. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Tex. Alright, I'll let you well, get back to work. See you later. You go ahead then, get back to work. I'm just gonna... Oh, write the combination! Oh, I gotta call the sheriff. Uh, okay. Sorry, Tex, your birthday cake's gonna have to wait. And all that other... Oh, right. Can't check that off yet. I did get permission. Check. Can't check that off yet. Oh, whatever. Okay, we did that. I'm finished with that. We did that. That's done. Can't check Ooh. that off till it's Find done. Find out why Mariazzi. We really need to figure that out now. I didn't think that would be so relevant. But it's certainly becoming a lot more relevant. Uh, yeah, let's call the sheriff. Right now, because then I'm going to go right back out there. Actually, the first thing we ought to do is stop by Mariazzi's and say, Hey, Mary. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's um, Nancy Drew again. What the heck? Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I noticed yeah. that you put a lock on one of the buildings in the ghost town. Yeah, the support beams in there are about to go. I was afraid some dumb tourist did knock into one of them and bring the thing down, and I'd wind up having to dig them out. If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? It's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. I'm just curious. Amateur detective, remember? I'll lock the place back up when I'm done. Well, if you swear you'll be careful. I'll be extremely careful. Yes. I promise. Picky promise. Let's see. Where did <laughs> I put that combination? Ah, here we go. Oh, gosh. Nine, two, oh. seven, four. Nine, two, seven, four. Oh, my gosh. I almost couldn't write it because of all these crumbs. <gasps> get out of here. All right. Might have to go get another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, thanks for your, your help. help. Anytime. All right. Well, you know what that means. We ain't, we ain't staying here long. We gotta leave. We gotta follow it. Actually, what if Tex is back? Oh gosh darn! You might not let us go. Okay. I'm not even gonna ask him any questions. Actually, no. We should. need yeah. something. I'm pretty sure I saw Ye Mary mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I saw Mary Yazi riding on ranch property. Have you ever seen her riding around here? Nope. When I asked her about it, she denied it, adamantly. Was she hurting anything? Defacing rocks? Setting fires? Threatening some endangered species? It just seemed like she was hiding something, that's all. Sounds to me like you're making a mountain out of an anthill. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, but I saw you and Mary Yazi. Mm -hmm. Did I see you mm -hmm. and Mary Yazi riding together? Mm -hmm. Me and Mary Yazi? Of course not. Why, well, I ain't said more than ten words to her since I got here. You're imagining things. Here's what I think. <laughs> Here's what I think. A, they are working together, Mary Yazi and Tex. Or B, Tex. Is a little bit embarrassed to talk about his love life. That's right. I think maybe they are uh, boom, 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 getting together, you know, going horseback riding, if you know what I'm saying. Mm hmm. No saddles, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. That's right, off into the sunset. I think there's maybe a secret love connection going on there. Mm hmm. And a, and a, and a country cowboy gentleman like himself would not talk about such things so maybe that's why he's being so and he did defend her quite adamantly there when she said what was was it was she defacing human prop or uh, defacing property endangering species may i go riding again yep okay bye. talk to you later <laughs> yahoo 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 okay well 
Uh, oh, we did get the we did get the carving. I'm finished with. Yes. Yes, you are finished with that. Oh, I do have the saddle. All oh, right. Okay. All right. Here we go now. Oh my. All right. Let's buckle up, Buttercup, and let's get on our way here. Oh dear. How do I? What's going on? Come on, Bob. Good oh, boy. come on, Bob. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's cute. I'm doing that every time now. Come on, Bob. All right, Mary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. <laughs> you all got some splendid to do. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Well, well. Hi, can I help you with something? <gasps> Tex told me about... You know, you and him. Tex told me about, you know, you and him. He did? I like to hear your side of the story now. I'd like yeah. to hear your side yeah. of the story now. My side's no different from his side. We're in love. What's the big oh! deal? That's so sweet. Hold up, though. Too sweet. Too good to be true. Okay, maybe they're both lovers and working together. Huh. Very possible, isn't it? Like a Bonnie and Clyde situation. But out in the Wild West. Cowboy edition and cowgirl edition. Tex and Yazi. Wow. Right. You're in love. What's the big deal? Wait a minute. He didn't tell you anything, uh, did he? Oh. You tricked me. Oh, you're good. You are good. <laughs> well, what what do you think you have to keep your love a, for Yeah, what do you keep a secret? Why do you think you have to keep your love for each other a secret? Tex knows the Raleigh's and I have been arguing about that property I want to buy. Oh. He's afraid if the Raleigh's find out about us, they'll think he's collaborating with the enemy and fire him. Hmm. Maybe they're not working together then. I don't know. This still seems very sus and uncertain. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Why are you so interested? Okay, now we need to know. Why are you so interested in that property? There's a whole bunch of petrified wood on it. Tex oh. discovered it. Every so often, he'll bring some pieces in, and I'll use it in my jewelry or try to sell it. Anyway, Tex and I are in love. We tried to keep Aww. it a secret, and we blew it. You know, for a city slicker, you got a lot of country smarts. <laughs> that we do, Mary Ozzy. That we do. Some of us were raised in the country. It was great talking to you. Come in again. Oh, we certainly will. We certainly will. All right, well, now we know. Now we know. Mary Ozzy's big secret is out. She That's wants done. the petrified wood. Okay, that seems simple enough. And it makes a lot of sense. She does have a lot of petrified wood here. That wasn't there before. Oh, that must be the one that uh, that Tex brought in for her. Aww. Hi, can I help you with something? That's a pretty big hunk of petrified wood over there. Where'd you get it? Tex. A friend of mine found it when he was clearing land for a new house. I told him I'd share whatever I got for it with them. Be sure to check out the jewelry yeah, display. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. got some real nice pieces oh, in. Mm -hmm. It was great okay. talking to you. Okay. Ride safely. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mariazzi. Yeah, okay. We already know your secret. The secret's out. You don't have to cover it up. That's cute. So Tex is, Tex is bringing her pieces of petrified... Oh, oh that's so cute. What a lovely romance. I love the idea of those two together. That's beautiful. Okay, back to Dry Creek. Here we go. I am scared walking around here. Uh-oh. I think I got crumbs in my blanket, too. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Alright. Here we are. No one behind us? Okay. I do get worried about this. Oops. Here we go. Alright. Nine... Two, seven, four. 
<laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Oh, that's a cool door. A sliding door and then the old fashioned. <gasps> my oh my. Look at this. <gasps> wow. Ooh, a slot machine. <gasps> what? Uh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? Who's been camping out here? Okay, before we go over there though, I do want to make sure that. What's this? Complete electrician's reference guide. An electrician's manual. Wonder what that's doing here. Yeah. And what are these other books? I guess they're irrelevant. Okay. Uh, should we even approach? Even the crumbs are crisp. <gasps> oh, and here's the cracker thing. Oh, and another. Interesting. Interesting. What is it? It's like an inlay of some sort. Can we put something there? I don't understand. Okay. Very spooky. Alright, let's check out this old slot machine. Make the meanest, roughest, and toughest gang in the West and win. Alright. Something goes oh, here. Oh, that's what the coins are for. Oh, look at that. Okay. Interesting. All right, here we go. Let's play. Harrison Paul, Tom Hawk Tom, Wildfire. Make the meanest, roughest, and toughest gang in the West. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't seem all that scary, so let's go with... There. Ah, all right. Oh, out of time. Oh, this is not a good time for that. Shh, we didn't hear that. We didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, I've only got one left. Oh. Let's hope I get some mean looking Parson Paul. So it's always the same, same ones. All right, so we keep these three and then what? Go again? Ow. Alright, we'll try that again. Looks like oh. someone's been hanging out in here. Uh, yeah. You know what this reminds me of? This looks a lot like Charlie's setup in Message in a Haunted Mansion behind, uh, behind the uh, two-way mirror in the, in the private speakeasy in the basement. I think we got the same thermos. What if Charlie's here? <laughs> is, is Charlie here? The return of Charlie. And the old piano. Looks like I need to put in a password. I'm wondering. Pappy? Pappy? Or Cappy? Let's see if there is a C or a P. There's a C, so let's see about an A. Maybe. C A P P Y O V A L E N T no F R A N C E S no Hmm Interesting. I don't know what name would go there. Pappy Cappy Huh Find out what what and where Cappy's keys are. What about Cappy's keys? Cappy's no. <laughs> Worth a shot. Oh. What's going on out here? Someone breaking in through there? Is that how this person's been getting in? Oh, this is just real spooky. Interesting. You know what? I think we need to get out of here. There really isn't much else to find. I'm getting that definite <gasps> feeling I'm not alone. Uh please tell me y'all saw that. Oh! <laughs> 
to scare me. Okay, I put in my phone on silent. Oh, uh-uh. That scared the bud Jesus out of me. Who the hell heck is up there? Someone was up in this window. Did y'all see that? If y'all back it up, like 10 seconds, there was a shadow up in that window. Who is following me? Are they in here now? Where are you? Who is this sneaky son of a... Yeah, that was spooky. Very spooky. Well, gosh darn. And what the heck is this thing? Someone is following us, though. <sighs> All right. Well, what a what a horrible place <laughs> to end the episode because there's just so much going on now. Gosh, I am confused. Very confused. Hmm. So, we need to figure out what name goes on the piano. Cappy's Keys. I'm thinking Cappy's Keys, meaning the keys on the keyboard. So if we can open that, that's where that thing... Oh, good boy. Good boy. Alright, let's put the saddle away. And let's talk to Tex about his little love playing. Need something? Oh. Talk to okay. you later. If you last that long. Who the heck was that? Let's just quickly see if everyone's here. Dave's here. I see him over, over yonder. He's just over yonder. What about Shorty? Is he in here, in here cooking? Okay. Okay. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. Hmm. Well, ain't that confusing? Oh, what's this? Oh gosh, of course. This is all here on the. Jeez. There's our cow friend again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I still haven't made that cake like Shorty asked me to. Oh, so that's what we gotta do then. Really? We can't go anywhere else until we make this dang cake? Whoever is sabotaging the ranch is working with someone on the outside. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure that someone is hiding out in the ghost town. Could the someone hiding out in the ghost town be the same someone who's helping the saboteur? Mariazzi? She's lived here for 30 years, so I'm sure she'd know how to survive out there. Found an old cracker tin in the ghost town. Unfortunately, most of the writing on it is totally rusted out and clean the brand name so i don't know if it has anything to do with the flowers or not it'd sure be nice if i knew more about was popular during the period oh okay so i have to call best and george came across a modern day electrician's manual in the ghost town why earth would someone bring something like that oh uh, what if this phantom horse is somehow electronic or if it's like a, a lighting system of some sort or what if it's just a projection or something it's not even a you know an actual object with lighting or maybe it's just a projection but that would be pretty advanced do you think that kind of technology I don't think would even be around in 2004 <laughs> I don't know I saw something in the ghost town that makes me think that bank robber from Denver may be hiding out Bank robbers from Denver may be hiding out there. Oh. Oh, okay. We need to tell. Okay, before we leave today, we need to tell. Oh my gosh, I still haven't made that cake like Shorty asked me to. Okay, we're stuck inside for now. Unfortunately, we can't end it with Bob in the horse crow. But we do need to call Sheriff. Sheriff Hernandez. Yeah, because that's twice now 
there's been someone creeping around in that ghost Hernandez. Town. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Do you go out to the ghost town very much? Out to Dry Creek? I haven't been there in ages. Why? I get the feeling someone's hiding out there. Yeah. Hiding out? Like a band of desperados or something? Or something, yes. Well, next time I have some time to kill, I'll drive up there and check things out. How'd that be? Thanks for your help. You bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Not much help there. Alright, well, let's take a load off. Sit down. Uh, uh, where should we end the episode? <gasps> With Francis. Alright, here we go. <gasps> Wait a minute. This the is Daisy new. Stitch. Oh! Oh, that's new. Okay. So did we just figure out something else? Can't check uh, that off yet. Turk mentioned that Francis had a favorite beaded purse. Wait, I thought there was a... Oh, here we go. Learn more about the shawl that Francis knit. Can't check that off yet. Hmm. The daisy stitch. I'm going to write that down. The daisy stitch. Fabulous. All right. Well, we will end it here with Miss Humber. Well, folks, that was quite an exhilarating episode, I must say. I am I'm full of questions right now and full of curiosities. First of all, who the heck is following us in Dry Creek, the ghost town, and who is staying there? Whoever's staying there, for some reason, has electricians, manuals. Oh, maybe they're also... Now, my thoughts are maybe that, A, they're using the electrician uh, manual to break into these old uh, kind of arcade games from the time, which I'm not sure would make much sense because if they're pretty old technology, they're not even electronic though. So I definitely think then that B, my other uh, alternative thought was that perhaps uh, whoever's behind this is actually projecting an image of the phantom horse and it's not even a horse with because I, I had two options I kind of thought maybe the horse has some kind of glowing powder or um, coating on the horse whoever owns the horse just kind of yeah run run and cause a scene right which would make a lot of sense and let's not forget Mary Ozzy's horse is a Palomino a nice white horse so her horse would probably be the most sus however we do also have Clyde in the uh, in the corral there. That's also a white horse. So one of the two horses. Oh my goodness. So it would make sense, wouldn't it, if Tex and Mariazzi were working together. They could use both horses at any given time, one or the other. And if they're working in cahoots together, one could send the horse out from far off yonder. And the other one could cause the explosion in the water pipes in the house. I think we're on to something here. I don't know. What do you guys think? That's one theory. Because now that we know they're in love, they're meeting up secretly just outside the ranch gates. They both have uh, white horses that could very well be used as a phantom horse. Uh, now, Tex was at the cookout that night, but if he, he was the first one to leave the fire, which would give him enough time to go into the ranch house, go through the secret entrance, and get into the pump house, and wait for the... the uh, wait for his cue from Mariazzi sending the horse out to blow it up and send the water shooting. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that would take two. You couldn't just do that on your own. Or if someone was doing it alone, that saboteur is a very, very smart individual. I am so stumped with that. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to keep digging. But if you guys have any ideas, suspicions, thoughts perceptions on all of this please comment below and let me know what you think because i'd like to get some a fresh idea maybe something a new perception maybe there's something i've missed or something i looked over and should be looking a little closer at hmm however i know one thing we do need to bake that cake for text <laughs> asap next episode we're gonna figure it out and then i'd like to go back to mariazzi's and play the roadrunner game so we can get more coins gather up a few coins, take them out to Dry Creek, 
and play that uh, that old Western game again and see if we can win something from it. Maybe it'll give us an answer or a clue or lead us in the right direction. Who knows? Well, anyways, folks, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys so much. And uh, it is my full pleasure making these Let's Plays with you so that we can share this uh, wonderful, wonderful opportunity and moment together, this experience, the connection, the mutual love and admiration for all things Nancy Drew. I love it. And I love you. So tune in, stay tuned, Clue Crew. We're on to something. Now it's getting interesting. We're about halfway through. So get your thinking caps on. Let's get down to business. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. And I will see you soon. Ride em, cowgirl. Ride em, cowboy. Either or. We're all just a bunch of desperados up in here. Well, no, we're detectives. We're, we're the opposite. If you are a desperado, I'm going to find you. I'm going to lasso you with my... What do you call it? My pro lasso skills now. That was fun. I hope I get to lasso again. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> Toodles for now. Ta-ta. <sighs> Ciao. Till next time, friends. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at Travi J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.